Today we're going to make three batches of cookies with one mixing. Here we go. I'm going to use a recipe on the back of the Toll House chocolate chip cookie bag. It's my favorite recipe and I've just adapted it by not using plain flour. I use self-rising flour. That's the only change in the recipe. If your butter's not softened, you can grate it and make it soft quicker. Measure out all your ingredients so that you don't forget anything in your recipe. Add your butter to your bowl, your sugar. Oh, don't forget to crack your eggs in a, in a little cup so that you can get the shells out. And you don't get them lost in the in the butter and the sugar. Put everything in your big mixing bowl. And put your whisk beater on there. Start slow. And then eventually you can get faster. And I blended this for about five minutes. Not I love my stand mixer because I don't have to hold it. Add your flour one cup at a time. Start really slow. And you can incorporate all the flour into this recipe. It's six and three quarters cups. And just keep going. Dump the flour in the hole where the beater comes out. And then that way you don't make a big mess. I don't even scrape the, the stuff off of the beater. I just pick it up, dump the flour in, put it back down. You need to be sure and lock your mixer head on the side. This, this is just a fun way to get a lot of cookies out of three, three recipes combined. Divide your dough into three parts and scoop it out and put it in two other mixing bowls. And then we're going to make oatmeal cookies now. Three cups of oatmeal, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and some nuts, no, and some raisins. And then we're going to add the oatmeal to the to the dough just like we did before one cup at a time and get it all incorporated doesn't take long this is a pretty stiff dough so using the mixer is a good thing and then we're going to take the dough out of the bowl pull out 24 inches of plastic wrap fold it back over the top and you're going to you're going to make a log it's about a three inch diameter log it's a fat log and then we're ready to go to make our next one. And it's going to be chocolate chip cookies. We all love chocolate chip cookies. So I like to pound my pecan pieces. And I'm using Robert's gavel to do it. But you can use a rolling pin. In a Ziploc bag, it works well. You don't make a big mess. Dump it all in and take a wooden spoon and stir it together. Form your log again. And you got two different types of cookies now. Next, we're going to make pecan sandies. This is one of my favorite cookies. I like my pecans pounded very thin. Or you can grind them in a food processor. But I didn't want to mess up some another piece, another thing to clean. So I just stir them all together. Be sure and use a wooden spoon because I broke that red spatula while I was doing it. It's a pretty stiff dough. Form it into a log. And put it with your other two logs in a big Ziploc bag. Stick it in the refrigerator. The key here is not to cook the cookies to not to bake the cookies today. Do it tomorrow or whenever you want to. Slice a one-inch section and divide it into four pieces. Put it on some parchment paper on your favorite cookie sheet. I like the air ones. And then you just have to slide the parchment paper over onto your cooling rack. And you're good to bake cookies. Three different types. See you later.